Hi, this is Fatima. Here let us discuss about view model in ASP.NET Core MVC application with some example. Before proceeding to this video, watch my previous video where we have discussed about strongly typed views in ASP.NET Core MVC application. What is this view model in ASP.NET Core MVC? In real-time application, a single model object may not contain all the data required for the view. In such situations, we need to use view model in ASP.NET Core MVC application. So in simple words, we can say that the view model in ASP.NET Core MVC is a model that contains more than one model data required for the particular view. This concept of view model is not only for ASP.NET Core MVC, it is also used in MVC, MVP, MVVM design patterns. Models are used to shape multiple entities from one or more models into the single object. This conversion into the single object provides a better optimization. So if you want to display more than one model into a single view, we have to pass the view model to that view so that we can take benefits of both these models into the single object. So we have to use this view model for the better performance of sources. This is an ASP.NET Core MVC application we have created with a simple empty project template. Let us use this application in order to understand the view models in ASP.NET Core MVC application. Using this view back to pass the data from the controller to the view creates a loosely coupled view. As a result, we will not have the IntelliSense and the compile time type error checking. And also, we can't include this title and the page header property in the product class because this product class should contain only the product related properties. This is when we create a class that contains all the data that a view needs. This class is called a view model. View model classes can live anywhere in our application, but to keep things better organized way, we usually place them in a folder named view models. So let us add some folder, right click on the project file, add new folder, name is view models. So let us add some view model class inside this folder. Right click on this folder, add new item. Class, name it as. We are going to create a view model for home controller details action method. So let us name it as. Home. home details view m so let us name it as home details vm dot cs and click on add once you click on the add button the view models home details class is added within this view models folder this view model class should contain all the data that the view needs. In this view model class is used to transfer the objects between the controller and the view. So we can call it as a data transfer object. In order to use this view model to pass both product details as well the title header from the controller to the view, let us do some modifications here. Let us add some properties. Type PROP. Press tab twice. Name the property as product.
press control period to include the namespace. Add the property string property to store the page title as well the header. So now this view model is ready to pass both the product details, title and the page header from the controller to the view. Instantiate this home details view model in this details action method of this controller class. And once instantiated, store the product details as well the title and page header here. And let us comment these three lines and pass this view model object to this view extension method so let us change this details view to access the view model object that the controller has passed using this view helper method So we have to set a view model as a model for this view. So, at, so while using this at model directive, let us set the home details view model as a model for this view. View models dot home details view model. It is home details view model as a model for this view. So let us access this product details page title and the page header using at model property. And put dot and you can see the intelligence to add your property. With these changes in place, now let's run the application. See the output as expected, but we are using now strongly typed view model. Main advantage of this view model is that proper separation of concerns and a better optimization the, the view needs to render the single view model object and there is a specific purpose for each and every aspect of the application which means the application will be more organized in the code using the view model we put our manipulation code separately in a specific place and away from the view and the controller. So it provides us a better separation of concern and makes our code more maintainable. It also makes our code more testable because unit testing means testing the small units and it is easier to test if we separate the manipulation logic in a separate view model. Hope you enjoyed this video. Our next video is about routing in ASP.NET Core MVC. Thank you.